welcome to my Mario Kart 9 No Not X predictions video. Before we start, two things. Number one, let me introduce the special guest today. Hey everyone, I'm Albert Boris. Thanks for having me on, Xavier. Thanks for agreeing to come on a second time in the span of one non-tour gameplay video. I promise, I'll make the LEGO like, Mario Kart prediction video someday. Anyway, secondly, for the four retro cups in this game, I've only picked tracks that have never been remade. For the mix cups, I end up using tracks that have been remade before because I really have no DS tracks. And uh, the only options are Airship, Fort not Airship, Figure 8 Circuit, the worst track ever, and Bowser's Castle, or sorry, Bowser Castle, there's no S in that Bowser's Castle, and Rainbow Road. And can't bring back Rainbow Road, because GBA Rainbow Road is next up, and uh, could bring back Bowser's Castle, but I already have Airship Fortress, so yeah. Starting things off is Daisy Hills from Mario Kart 7. It doesn't really need any upgrades other than visuals, which is a given, so I'm not going to mention it again. And an anti-gravity section on the wooden bridge boardwalk things. What are these called? Next up, I have a basic big yeah. Mario circuit. Wii Mario circuit. Oh boy. So great. So good. Such a great track. No, but seriously, I picked it because there's five options for the tracks, and two of them are circuits, so... That pretty much guarantees a circuit in this game. Every game also has at least one Retro Mario circuit. You're gonna predict this, but not figure eight circuit. Oh, come on, Albert. Figure eight circuit? Really? I'm not going to go into it right now. I might make another video comparing it to other Shell 1 possibilities. Wii Mario Circuit isn't unfixable though. If you turn the tunnel into a warp pipe, my prediction for the game's gimmick, as major gravity, piranha plants, etc., and it could be decent. Next up is GBA Cheap Cheap Island. Beach tracks have the most potential in my opinion, and the tour remake is a good starting point for improvement. Bending this cup off with a rather predictable Wii U track that I don't like at all. Sweet, sweet canyon. Uh, <laughs> this track sucks, but we need Wii U tracks and we need Mushroom Cup tracks, so Bennett should just get it out of the way. Not gonna lie, this Shell Cup kinda sucks when we have it now. Moving on to the Banana Cup, we start with a fan favorite, Shy Guy Bazaar. No notes here. Next! Mario Circuit 4. It's the last best Mario Circuit and it has a lot of potential. And that's it. Nothing I can say here will be different from any other semi popular YouTubers. Speaking of semi popular YouTubers, Poke Michael is making an MC4 custom track. What's on screen now? Next, GBA Yoshi Desert. Even though this is two deserts in the same cup, Shy Guy Bazaar is not even really a desert. In 13th place, we have Shy Guy Bazaar, by far the best desert track in the series. It's so good that I didn't even realize it was a desert at first. Wait, is that a good thing? And the only other option is Lakeside Park, which I have in the Leaf Cup. Add some pokies to it, but otherwise it's pretty much good as is, assuming this is from Tor. What's the last trick? I wonder, what could it possibly be this Toad's Factory? Obviously. I recommend watching Swift Jar's video on changes for Toad's Factory. I agree with most of it, and uh, I'm trying to keep the video time down. So Lakeside Park opens up the Leaf Cup. It should get a better remake than what's in Tor, something where you go into the volcano like this. Next up, Sunshine Airport. This track needs a super circuit in Mario Kart 8, not Yu Sky Garden yeah. style remake. An airport track should be cooler than Sunshine Airport. After that, I have GCN Mushroom City. And I had an idea for this, but I think it's a little bit controversial because I posted it in the Swift Cafe Discord server and I got a lot of pushback from it. It would force you to take certain paths on certain laps. Lap 1 is in red and lap 2 is in green. There'd be Tor, City Arrows forcing you to the path, but then lap 3 would give you the whole track to work with like a Delta Dash. But laps 1 and 2 show you the main routes of the track, so I'm confused because I think Nintendo. I thought it was a little bit confusing, but I think Nintendo thinks it's just a confusing course, because they haven't brought it back once. 
not in DS, not in Wii, not in 7, not in 8, not in the Wii U DLC, not in Booster Course, not in the Tour. Not once. But Oki68 said this wall of text that you can read if you want to, and I'm not going to read it because I need to keep the video time down. But I kind of agree a little bit. It kind of ruins the appeal of the track because it's like, it feels like a city because if you miss a turn, you can just take the next one. If there was a way for Nintendo to show you the two main paths of the track before you start the race, like if they were highlighted on the map or something, I think it would be fine for you to have access to the whole track for laps one, two, and three, but I don't think Nintendo would do that, because they didn't do that with the Tour City courses. They're just like, here's some getting here, map, figure it out! But those Tour courses had arrows, and Mushroom City does not have arrows. But then again, Yoshi Valley does exist in Mario Kart 8, even if everybody just goes left and goes left again. The last course of the Leaf Cup is N64 Wario Stadium. This track needs so much glowing up that I'm just going to show you this map that I found on DeviantArt. Credits to them. My suggestion is to make this course even better is to make the underwater section smaller, add chain chops, make the course take place at sunset, and be two laps instead of three. Water break, water break, make sure you're hydrated. Alright, for the Lightning Cup, I have not Wario Coliseum, but Wario Shipyard. You mean Wario's Galleon? Regional course names from Mario Kart 7 have entered the chat. I'm gonna call it Wario Shipyard. You can call it Wario's Gallon if you want. It used to be an underrated course in 7, but everybody just keeps saying it's underrated, so I don't really think it's underrated anymore. But there's still potential here. Why isn't Wario Coliseum here? I didn't predict Wario Coliseum because we do need to save a few double dash tracks for the next game, especially because Wario Stadium N64 is pretty similar, a two lap Wario course. Next up, SNES Ghost Valley 3 or GBA Broken Pier. These serve the exact same purpose as being the spooky ghost track. Hmm, we haven't had a Wii U track in a while, so let's get another one in here. Super Bell Subway. Wait, hang on. But what about the pattern where the fourth track of the Star Cup two games prior becomes the third track of the Lightning Cup? Mako Woohoo here? Section tracks have always started or ended cups. It would be kind of weird to have one as the third slot. Just ignore the fact that my idea for the next Nitro Bowser's Castle is a section track and those are always the third track in the cup. The amount of times I've had to re-record myself saying, speaking of Bowser's Castles, GCN Bowser's Castle is the last track in the cup is too many. So I'm not even going to try anymore. By the way, my list is ever-changing, so in the future I'll probably have DS Bowser's Castle here instead, even though GCN Bowser's Castle is better, because I have no DS tracks in the main four Retro Cups. I don't even know. But moving on to the Mix Cups, I have N64 DK's Jungle Parkway. Why is it called that? I could not tell you. In a track that I think they'll pretend is a new track, Piranha Plant Pipeline. Uh-uh, War Pipe Canyon. We already have Piranha Plant Pipeway. Let's not make it confusing. You mean Piranha Plant Slide, right? Uh, whatever. Anyway, Piranha Plant Pipeline, or Warp Pipe Canyon, deserves to be in an actual game, not just a mobile game, where you can only play for two weeks out of the entire year! I love Tour so much! Anyway, for the Shy Guy Cup, wonderful names, I know. I have two retro tracks, both from the Flower Cup. Woohoo Loop from 7 and Shy Guy Falls from 8. It's Woohoo Island Loop. Really? One extra word? Woohoo Loop is just easier and faster to say than Woohoo Island Loop. Woohoo Island Loop should go through more of Woohoo Island, and Shy Guy Falls is pretty much perfect as is. The Golden Dash Cup has GCN Dino Dino Jungle, what Albert would call the Superior Jungle Course. The other retro track is DS Luigi's Mansion. This fills my retro Luigi track quota and my DS track quota. Alright, it's the last cup time. This cup doesn't even get a name. I'm so good at naming things that I didn't even name this one. DS Airship Fortress. I drew this for a remake of it and uh, yeah, that's about it. And the very last track is, it's obviously going to be a main road, it's...
This track means the Super Circuit and Mario Kart 8, not used Kart Gun. Yeah. New style remake. Wait, are you getting the sense today you have Wu? But that's pretty much it for this video. Have a nice day or don't, I couldn't care less. With all that being said, I'm signing off.